Sarah is lying on the shore. She wakes up lying in bed. She celebrates Mia's birthday. She pretends to be asleep. Sarah gets distracted and burns the pancakes. Mia misses grandpa. She brings Mia to school. Aged care calls Sarah. She works as a fertility doctor. A client listens to her child's heartbeat. She drives Mia home from school. Mia wants Joan to come to her birthday party, but she never met Joan. They find the garage door open. She quickly closes the door. Mia finds a rabbit. She hides an envelope from Mia. They keep the rabbit. Pete, Mia's father, and Toby come to the house. They let the kids play with the rabbit. He cares about her, but she says she is fine. Pete is with Denise. She finds out they are trying for another baby, but Sarah was promised they would only have one. She meets Denise. They hear screaming. They find out Toby was hitting Sarah. She screams at Toby. They leave to eat cake. Sarah takes out her stash of cigarettes. She smokes on the porch. She opens the envelope she kept from Mia. It was from her grandma. She burns it. Sarah grabs the rabbit. She tries to throw it across the fence, but it bites her. Mia was watching. Sarah wakes up to Mia's rabbit mask. She brings the rabbit mask to school. She receives a call from the hospital to schedule a time to meet with the doctors about her grandma's situation. Sarah arrives late to pick up Mia. She meets Nawa. They look for Mia. They find her in a pipe hyperventilating. Sarah asks if someone is bullying her. Mia explains that she misses her mommy. She receives a call from aged care. Mia surprises her. They talk about grandpa's passing and Joan her grandma wasn't there for the funeral. She shows Mia photos of their family. She explains that she doesn't have any photos of Joan. She agrees to let Mia look for photos of Joan through Grandpa's stuff tomorrow. Sarah goes into the garage to look through Grandpa's stuff. Mia watches her. Mia steals the photo of Joan, but she tells her to go to bed. She is woken by Mia's nightmare. She finds the photo of Joan in her bed. She tells her to not take things that aren't hers. She finds a bruise on Mia's head. She asks to see Joan. She starts screaming that she wants to see Joan. Sarah drives Mia. She hits a bird. She pulls over. She looks for the bird. They can't find it. They arrive at the aged care facility. She realizes Mia's nose is bleeding. She discusses Joan's condition with Sandy, a worker. He explains that there will be additional fees. Her mother has been diagnosed with dementia. She has been forgetting to wash herself to eat. They meet Joan. She starts hugging Mia tightly and saying she loves her. Sarah takes Mia away. Mia still wants to see Joan. She struggles to put on her seatbelt. She slams the door on Mia's hand. They drive home. Sarah tries to explain to Mia why they left, but she runs off. She slams the door into her hand. She meets Extra, a teacher at Mia's school. She is concerned that Mia is troubled at home. She finds weird drawings. She advises for Mia to get professional help because she is struggling with the loss of her grandfather. She asks Mia to talk about what's been happening. Mia tells her to call her Alice. She decides to go home. She reads bedtime books to Mia. She finds drawings in the library book. Mia explains that she didn't draw in the book and that she needs to see Joan. Sarah explains that she is sick. She says Sarah isn't her real mom. He calls Denise to tell her she needs to reach Pete. She tells Denise she doesn't know what it's like to lose a family member. She looks at all the creepy drawings Mia has been drawing. She cries looking at a photo of dad. She opens a box of her father's clothing. She hugs it and cries. She calls herself a good girl. She hears running. The rabbit Sarah gets angry at Pete for telling Denise her life story. Pete is worried about about Mia because the school called. He tells her to let Mia have a relationship with her grandmother. They go to Joan's old house before she moved into aged care. It was where Sarah grew up. Mia opens the door. Mia runs around the house. Mia wants to sleep on a bed. Sarah drags Mia out. Mia colors with her rabbit mask for Joan. Her and grandpa moved out. She doesn't like to talk about it because she gets sad. Sarah is confused why Mia wants to be Alice if it was Pete or Denise. Sarah explains that she had a sister named Alice. She went missing when she was seven. Mia explains that she came back as Alice. She runs off. She finds Mia's nose bleeding. They sleep together. She checks Mia's drawing. She squeezes her wound from the rabbit. They go meet Joan again. Joan recognizes Sarah and Mia. Mia tells Joan her name is Alice. She slaps Sarah and runs off. She brings Mia to see the Alice headstone. She explains that Alice 
house was pretty, they fought a lot. She would catch animals and bring them home. Mia starts screaming about how Alice didn't like hide and seek. She had to always hide and they never looked for her. Sarah calls Pete about Mia pretending to be Alice and it isn't nice. She finds Mia wearing Alice's things. She tucks Mia in. Sarah takes down all the pictures. Sarah leaves. While Mia watches, Sarah asks Joan to sell the house. Joan explains that it's Alice's home. Sarah tells her she wasted her life waiting for Alice. Sarah goes home. She can't find Mia. She runs around looking for her. She trips and finds a small tunnel. Mia spots her. She screams at Mia for running away. She tells Mia to pack because they are leaving. She apologizes Mia for screaming at her. She wakes up to Mia screaming. She tells her it's just a dream. She finds blood. She grabs scissors. She turns on the light and finds she cut Mia. Sarah goes into a warehouse. She opens closet and finds Alice. She starts choking her. Mia runs away from her. She believes Mia is Alice. She tries to get to Mia but she hits her head. She remembers chasing Alice and her face was bleeding. She pushed her off the cliff. Sarah wakes up to herself coloring. She lets Pete in and they look for Mia. Sarah jumps into the water. Pete grabs Sarah out. They find Mia. Sarah visits Joan. Sarah admits that Alice is dead. Joan doesn't believe she is dead. A worker tells Sarah to leave because she isn't allowed in patient rooms. Sarah apologizes to Mia for the things she did to Alice. She explains that she told Joan she ran away because she didn't want to tell the truth. She admits she is a monster. Sarah wakes up. She finds Mia and Alice walking away. She chooses to scream at the window and do nothing while they walk. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing.